right, we're here with the North versus South uncapped tag team uh, match. We got the here we got the North uh, North champs train wreck. Um, I don't know you guys, so I'm sure the audience might not know you guys. So tell me, tell me about yourself. How long have you been champs? All that good stuff. Oh, we've been champs, I think, three months now. December or January. December or January. We're turning champs. We were champs last year. Only held it for one month. Uh, we're from Central Jersey Shore Division. Uh, I think we're second in that division at the moment around there. And that's, yeah, that's about it. Okay, so how, I'll ask you, how many games is it going to take for you guys to knock Hitmen off? Because Hitmen win everything. Well, we never sweep. We like to, we usually make it go seven. So I'm going to be, say, but say six. Six or seven. All right, cool, cool. All right, so they said it's going to take six or seven. So what's that prediction look like for you guys? How many games is it going to take y'all to knock them off? Five. 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 Yeah. Five at most. Five at most, okay. Uh, how long have y'all been champs now? Uh, three months. Three months. Three months. It's about the same as them. Okay, so you're going to do this in five. And what else y'all got to say? I mean, we haven't lost yet. It's a good venue. That's right. You haven't lost yet. You um, barely lost any games at all. So, all right, so good luck to y'all. Uh, kick some butt and uh, Hitman win everything. So we got Trainwreck versus Hitman. And so assisting me with commentary is former uh, heavyweight champion in the Southeast, uh, Bob Benton. How you doing today, Bob? I'm good. I'm good. Good to see you, Ray. Yep. You know, happy to be here. Yep. You know, happy to watch this North vs. South match. Yep. You know, we're, we get to Mega Bowl, and you know, Mega Bowl is the premier South event for sure, yep. right? It's not Battle Bowl, it's Mega Bowl, it's in Richmond. Yep. A lot of South participation. North's got to feel a little lonely. I don't see a lot of support, but, you know, start out with a the strike, they're ready. Yeah, the, the thing for the South, though, is, like, we're going to have a crowd here. We just had an event finished, so we know everybody went to get some food. We'll have a lot of support here. Um, Hitman told me that, yes. that it's going to be five. They're going to win in five. Five? They said five. That was generous. Uh, that, I, I kind of felt the same way. Uh, yeah, there you go. And so already got the noise from Hitman. Um, train wreck, they told me six or seven. I understand where they're coming from. Yep. I don't think it makes us sit six, but you know I'm a little biased. Yeah. And you know you mentioned Hitman's got some noise, and yeah, yep. we just we just came out of an uncapped team event, which yep. Hitman unofficially won, by the way. Thank you very yep. much. Yep. So of course we're all here to support. Yeah, you know, these are two of our favorite guys. So. Yep. You know we're definitely gonna get some noise from the South, which is awesome. I, right. I love Mega Bowl. North for South's awesome. Yes, it is. Oh, there you go. So. <laughs> So, so Fish is going to be doing his thing. He's the one starting us off here. Yes. Um, these guys have been undefeated since they uh, joined Uncap. Yes. Um, they barely lost any games. Yeah, it was, what, three matches before they lost the game? Yeah. At all? Yeah. At all. And then, um, you know, with the, the match to take the belt, they bowled, um, you know, Jack Ness and um, Matt Martin, yep. who are two phenomenal bowlers for G-Town, yep. yes. defending, defending champs in the OUBA, and they that was one of the best matches I've ever watched in Uncapped. So yeah. these guys are ready. They're ready. Yeah, th those guys are pretty solid. They are. They were undefeated in the North versus South matches themselves. That's a terrible-looking strike. Yep, golf flat, golf flat, very quiet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so so far, so far this weekend, the South hasn't won anything. In terms of what the matches? The, the matches. I haven't gotten to watch many because you know yep. busy ball and schedule. Yeah. So our 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 our, our friend Leonard I, Friedman. No, don't got, don't got say swept. Fred. I heard our cruiserweight <laughs> sucks. Fair enough. Our, our, <laughs> for for lack of a better word, he sucks. Yeah. And, and the UBA thesaurus. <laughs> um. Yes. You, uh, a friend in that aspect is definitely. Uh, not friend. We're not exchanging Christmas cards or anything like that with him. Um, but our South rep uh, got swept. Yeah, I know, I know we got to watch our, our old language on the old stream, but you know, hashtag yeah. FLF. Yep. And that's yep. how we feel about the cruiserweights. Yep. So, yep. Fr free Leonard Freeman. <laughs> yeah, free free Leonard Freeman. Exactly. Yeah, that's right. that's what, that's, exactly what I mean by FLF. That's what it's going to be today. Hey, it, but that's more PG than some of the jersey names we got going on here today. Absolutely. So. I've seen some fantastic ones. Yeah, absolutely. Dollar signs are not letters. Guns aren't letters. Everything's fine. Yeah. Everything's yeah. fine. Yeah. All right, so you get your first blemish here at the North. Yeah. We'll two pin. And yeah. I, I will say this, you know, this building is not the easiest. You know, the UBA bowls, house patterns, and they're not hard. A lot of scores. This building is, is not the easiest to master. So right. it can very easily kind of kind of conquer you rather than you conquering it so it'll be interesting to see if they can manage you know five seven games however long it takes yep. three in a row there for fish <laughs>
So like, I don't know, did did either either of these guys um, on Hitman did they eat any events leading up to today? No, to that's kind of the crazy thing. So Hitman, Hitman in particular had crazy participation this weekend. We had three cap teams, three on cap teams, but these two, their schedules kind of didn't allow them to get up here. So okay. this is the first they've really thrown a ball. Okay. So kind of not what you'd expect if you had a kind of big match like this. Yeah, because like looking forward to like the world title later. Juice has bowled some events already. Like he's getting ready to defend. Like he, and, and, and it's not easy for everybody to do that. The uh, train wreck here. They they just got here um, right at match time. So, oh wow. So yeah. So, so so they're kind of on the same boat here. Like yeah. no one's got an advantage in terms of seeing the pattern. Right. in there. Yeah, flat 10, but you know, yeah. it's not the worst thing in the world. Just no. Stay clean. You never know when someone will give you an opening, but you know, fish is first shots and fish, you know, I don't know what his jersey name is this week, but yeah, yeah. So, so in the in the time that these guys have been in the uncapped series together, have they shot 300 yet? You know, I don't think so. It's crazy. Yeah. I've got, I think we've got two un, or cat 300s, me and my other teammate. Hitman, thank you. Yeah. But I don't think they, at least not that I've seen, shot 300. And that is actually really hard in this format. Yeah. Because one of the things you learn in the tag team format in the UBA is it's not like a Baker format. You know, it's not like some guy gets a lane and he can camp there and he can strike all day. Yeah. You know, you gotta, you know, sometimes lean on one of your teammates that have a better look. Absolutely. They might show, might throw, sorry, seven or eight shots a game. Yep. Which makes those three or four that your teammate throws even harder. Yeah. You might sit for 30 minutes. So, you know, those big, big numbers are kind of even harder depending on you know where you're at what you're like because it's, it's not easy yeah but i'll tell you what uh, the the sun the south uncapped teams that we have that have been at this level they're all capable absolutely they're all capable. absolutely um it wouldn't surprise me if it might not be this game but it wouldn't surprise me if um elliot and fish can throw this together and make it happen absolutely uh, because and, and, and they're not listen they're not impossible here right they're just a little different than maybe what we're used to down yep. south but they're, yep. they're striking Yep. Yeah, so for, for those of you, it's your first time watching a uh, WCS tag match. Um, the first bowler has to bowl the first three frames, and then they're going to end up finishing, but you got to have four tags in there at some time, at some point. And so as different tag si situations come up, we'll be more than happy to, to, to talk through them. Um, sometimes when you got a righty-lefty, it makes spare shooting a little easier. Absolutely. You know? That's, you know, my personal experience is I've yep. bowled with the lefty for a long time with yep. the captain. Yep. Shout out to Rudy. Man, is that yep. so fun. Like, oh, flat 10. Hey, buddy. Yep. Your turn. I don't want to shoot yep. that. And that, that makes a big difference. And I, I think, does. you know, I actually haven't seen the other train wreck. Oh, oh, let's pause. That was amazing. Yeah. But yeah, I haven't seen the other guy. But righty lefty is a great strategy. Yeah, it, it's, a, it's a great strategy. Um, they were uh, undefeated in these matches. Uh, um, G Town was Jack yes. and Matt because you for had a long time. power lefty, what, power how, righty. How many months just, did they hold the belt? It's like 14, 16, something crazy. Yeah, it was it was over a year. Long time. Yeah, because they beat the same North South team uh, a couple times. Yeah, you know, so like it was. Yep. I don't. You, know, you alluded earlier to the uh, you know the experience of the South teams and uncapped, mm -hmm. and I know you know I can speak from a little experience that all the way back in the inaugural uncapped tag team belt. Yep. We had a little bracket event. Do you remember who? Yeah. Do you remember the finals of that event? Yeah. Do you happen to it, remember it, who it participated was, in that? It was, it was Hitman. Hitman versus who? Hitman. Hitman versus Hitman. Yeah. You guys heard that right. That yeah. wasn't a that wasn't a repeat. No. Hitman versus Hitman. My team versus um, yep. Senzo and Yo-Yo, two of our good lefties. Yep. They ended up beating us out. Where at? Right here at yep. Mega Bowl. Right here Crazy at Mega Bowl, yep. So, you know, speaking of Hitman and experience and uncapped, mm -hmm. you know, the team's been there, so we got some things to lean on. And then, you know, Elliot and Fish here, they're both actually, I don't want to say new to us as a team, but, you know, relatively speaking. Yeah. But, man, have they gelled and, oh, man, teamwork. I, I love to see it. You yeah. know, I love the teamwork. This is one of my favorite types, favorite formats in the WCS. Yeah. Because, you know, winning things as a team is always so much more fun than as an individual. And that, that's coming from a, a heavyweight champion. Yeah. Like it's, yeah. And I, I've used it a lot in, this, in these situations, too, where, you know, singles matches, or like check, uh, play, playing checkers. Absolutely. But then when you get the tag, it's playing chess. Because 
you have to figure out when's the right time to tank. You know, right. the, the teams that set aside a format or like a, a predetermined you bowl the first three, then I'll bowl three, right. uh, they lose. Right. If they you, don't if win. If you know going in when you're going to tag, you've already lost. Right. right? You, you've done it wrong. You, yeah. it's, not about, it's not about some predetermined strategy. Yes. It's about adjusting to the current environment and how yeah. things are going. Yeah, I agree wholeheartedly. Yeah, there's been plenty. There's been plenty of times where you know I've seen get 300s ruined because one bowler has it. They run the first. They roll the first eight. Seven. Eight, yeah, seven eight frames. You can, yeah. yeah, and then they got to cram and get their four tags in, and then you know they don't get the 300 right. and all Absolutely. that. Absolutely. So it's it's a lot more than people think. You know. Yeah, it's it just layer. You know, it adds a layer to the strategy yeah. Yeah. to what's already. A kind of a tricky format, you know. Yeah. There's a lot, yeah, there's a lot of things going on mentally. Mm -hmm. Not to, not to mention the lane play, throwing yeah. good shots, the yes. crowd, you know, you know, train wreck here. They've got to deal with a little bit more adversity than maybe they're used to up north. Yeah. You know, I don't, I don't see another person in here with a train wreck jersey on. Right. And that, that sometimes is hard. You yeah. know, you're the enemy. You're the villain. Right. right? You're, you, you can be. It can be very lonely. Absolutely. You know? Um, I think you remember back when in this building. Um, Nip, James Nippon was bowling in the north-south heavyweight match. Yes, on and, this pair, by the way. Yeah, or maybe it, the pair to our left. It yeah, was, he was on the left because this was uh, Daphne and Jessica yes. were bowling. Yeah, here. absolutely right. And um, so Nippon was down 3-2. Yeah. And the event ended. And he made a ball change, by the way. Yep. And they, because the event ended. Yeah. Do you want to know who told him to make that ball change? You know? A little, well, a little, little sick play here was myself. It, it might have been me. Well, okay. And okay. Nippen, no, don't wrong. I don't have to throw the ball. No yeah. pressure on me. We, um, so that was back when Niffin was on Hitman. Yeah. He made a ball change. I can even tell you the ball. Storm Axon. Storm, big sponsor of the UBA. Yep. yep. Um, and we talked about it, but you're absolutely right. The the environment shifted yes. so much because, like you said, the event ended. Mm -hmm. You know, 30 Hitmen that were bowling came back behind him. Yep. They got loud. He got help. Not yep. that you need help, you know, but yep. it, it worked. And mm -hmm. he threw it great won that match. Well, it's, nobody bowls worse when people are cheering for him. Correct. You know, so. Never hurts. Uh, yeah, never hurts. <laughs> so yeah, it's one, it's one of those, it's one of those, yeah, it's one of those things where it's like, it's, it's just good to have the, the crowd behind you. And um, yeah, like train wrecks out numbers, you know? And, yeah. and it's not just Hitman people are here. I mean, right now it's a lot of Hitman. Yeah, but, I mean, you know, you turn around, look around, we got some Hitman, some Hitman, yeah, some Della Gaff, some Hitman. Some hitmen, some more hitmen, yep. some dirty south, some hitmen. <laughs> it's yep. a lot of hitmen, let's yep. be honest. It, but, but everybody else is still. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's G Town right behind me. G Town, yeah. The best 187 in South G Town, let's go. Yeah, that's right. Thank <laughs> you. Shout, shout out to Gene there, appreciate that. <laughs> All right, but, you yeah. know, we, we haven't really talked about the match much. And, yeah. you know, so hitmen's are up, you know, you know, fish through the front four five here. Yeah. Elliot tags in, little flat yeah. 10. They got 260 left, looks good, but here you look at the scoreboard. Yeah. They're not comfortable. Mm -mm. Train rack has 250 left. Yeah. It's a 10 pin match. It is not that, you know, it's certainly not over. So we haven't really talked a whole lot about the bowling, but yeah. they're definitely showing their own here. Well, the thing that they're doing is they're striking so much, they're, they're, we don't have to talk about what they need to, to spare and the all that kind of stuff. The score certainly speaks for themselves. Um, and I may have talked them into that one, but that, yeah, we, that we, may we, come down to being a big miss. You saw yeah. that with Hook a little bit, and their max score reduces to a, what is that, 220, 230, sorry, 230 with yeah. a double. And all of a sudden, it becomes a little bit easier for him to make it not, make it finished. Yep. And, and sometimes you'll see when it when a game is out of reach because again with all the WCS stuff, it's all about it's all about game count, pinfalls are relevant. So once you're kind of out of a game, then you go ahead and you can step back and kind of work on what you need to do. Right. If you got a teammate that's struggling on the lane, you can just forfeit the game, not tag anymore, because you're already yep. losing yeah, anyway. Absolutely. So, you can do you can do any number of things. You can you can throw a ball that you didn't play on throwing. Like Ray alluded to, you, you, you don't have to tag. Uh, you got three tags. Oh well, we forfeit. Yeah. Doesn't matter because you've already lost the game. So yeah, a lot of options now available to the North, yeah. which have kind of lost this game off that spare miss. Right. And they can do whatever they want. You know, they want to they want to do some 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 soul searching here. Yeah, it's they, available. To they them. could go tag 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 in the in the tenth if they want to. Um, but right now, all they got to do is totally make sure that, that Fish got to throw the last ball. That's all they got to do. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
So he gets the 10 out here. No, uh, seven. What is, what is this? Oh, he lost yesterday. So it's a it's both, dude. It's for the world. For the world, yeah. How did, you know, not that we had the mics in front of us, but how did the, uh, the heavyweight match go yesterday? So, uh, Jacob Johnson uh, from Gladiators. Virginia area, right? Virginia, yep, Virginia area, yep. Their, -ish, -ish. Their, their, their first tour stop was in this house oh, beautiful. this season. Yeah. So, you figure all that stuff was going to be in his favor. Um, it wasn't, you know. <laughs> Happens uh, that way sometimes. Yep, both him and Devin from up north, um, they both were rushing. We were on pace. If it would have been a sweep, it would have been the fastest WCS title match ever. Or, you know, yeah. similar. It wasn't a title match, but you know what I mean. Um, which the record is 55 minutes, and we were on pace for a 48-minute match. That's pretty wild. It was pretty. That's pretty wild. But, De but midway through game two, Devin figured out he needed to slow down. Jacob didn't. Um, Jacob had a good lead. All he had to do was strike the first ball in the 10th. He didn't. So then the heartbreak of that, I feel like that's what why he lost game three. Kind of yeah, momentum. He, he came back one four, it went five, which Devin predicted. So I, you know, kind of threw it out. There's a conspiracy theory that Devin said he'd win in five and he didn't want to sweep him. You know, I, I'd love to go back to the archives. You know, speaking of times. Yeah. I remember from my experience in this same building, mm -hmm. I went to seven in the North versus South match in the heavyweight, mm -hmm. and I know I intentionally made it a not quick match. I'd love to see how close I was to the longest seven game match. It's got to be close, I think. It, it probably would. That, that'd be a question for Gordon Pepper. He's the one that keeps up with all that, that those crazy, I'm talking Gordon. those crazy next gen stats yeah, kind of thing. I think I might have taken 32 re racks in that match. I don't know <laughs> if I counted, but it was close. It was a lot of re racks. <laughs> Yep. So these guys have uh, Hitman obviously won game one, and so now they're just trying to figure out what they're going to do going forward. Right. So, right. And you, like I said, you see a tag here. Yeah. Do we really care about making this pair? Not really. This is more of a let's see how lined up we are. Yeah. Or maybe we make this pair. I don't know what we're doing. Yeah. Maybe we're not taking advantage of it. But yeah, like you said, that you know, Hitman been, obviously locked that one up. And, yeah. That should have been a good miss. Like he shouldn't even like try to pick that yeah. up. He should have been trying right. to make sure. Yeah. He's, maybe it's a ball change. Maybe yeah. it's a comfort. Maybe it's a you know just who cares. Maybe, maybe we're lined up, we just got to throw it better, you know, because that's happened. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we're, not not to say nerves, but maybe we just, you know, pins didn't fall our way the first game, and we'll just move on. Let's go. Yeah. So, and, and so here like, we are, one nothing to yep. the south, and, and on to game two. Yep. And, 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 and. All right, Elliot's going to get us started here. Elliot was the... Um, if there was one, the weekly. Right, and you know, something we didn't talk about. We talked about yeah. format. Yeah. And with tag team, we talked about how the first, the, you know, the, the lead off baller has to go the first three frames, have to finish. Yep. What we didn't mention is that the next game, they have to switch. Yes. So in, in some scenarios, especially with cap tag team, yeah. you may have bowlers that are significantly stronger than the yep. other, you know, cap tag is a 430. So maybe it's a 230 to 20 or, or maybe a 240 to 190 or whatever the case may be. You clearly have a bowler that outshines the other. But in uncapped tag, that may not be the case. You still have to switch. Right. So as you see, the bowlers that bowled later in the match, the first game, now lead off. Yep. So we'll see if that changes anything. It really can. Because we talked about strategy. You know, you, you may determine, you know, and I'll speak from my own experience. Mm -hmm. You know, I bowled cap tag team with a bowler that's similar on average, maybe a few pins lower, mm -hmm. but he's a lefty. Yeah. So there's a lot of scenarios where you're like, you know what? Even though I may be the, you know, quote, unquote, more talented bowler on paper, right. maybe I want the lefty to bowl the last game, you know, start to bowl more frames. Like, there's, there's an advantage there. So yeah. we talked about the strategy that overlays this format. Right. And that's a big thing. It's who starts what game. Yep. And a lot of it, too, is like, so, you know, Elliot started this game. Um, last game, Fish started, went five before he came out, you know. And I'm sure there's a little bit of pressure on Elliot to start this game because, you know, they won the game, but Elliot was the weaker link last time. Yeah, you know absolutely. Right? So it's like, and, and I don't mean when I say absolutely, I'm not picking on Elliot, but no, no, me know. either. By no right, way, right, by right. No, yeah. And I'm not saying you are, but yeah. from from knowing these guys, yeah, Elliot's a consummate teammate, right? Right. He's never gonna call his own number. Yep. It's always gonna be, you know, out, you know, I'll fill frames. Yep. I'll fill the shots you don't want to bowl. Let you shine. Yep. That's just who he is. Right. But he can't really take a back seat in this format. He's still yeah. got to be the guy at some point. Yeah. So let's see over these next two frames. 
Yep. You know, he, you know, he watched the North guy go strike seven spare. Yep. Come up here, be the guy, throw a three bagger, and put some pressure on because that's not easy either, especially as the guy that wants to be the supporter. Because that's just what he is. Yeah, because the thing with these two, um, they're they're not big energy guys. You know, they're not right. like they're not gonna run stuff out seven lanes. You right. know what I mean? They're gonna come up, they're gonna do their job and go back and sit down. You know, Absolutely. and they're gonna meet with it like it, Elliot could get these next two. And he's gonna come down, sit next to the fish, and they're gonna talk about what they're seeing already. I think the next there. eleven and do the same thing. Yeah. He's gonna sit down, talk about what he's seeing on the lanes, and that's just who he is. Yeah, yeah, cause guys, cause guys like these, like they're bowling themselves. You know what I mean? Yes. Like they're not worried about really what the other person team right. is doing. They're just gonna go out and they know if they bowl what they're capable of bowling, so they're gonna win the game, right? And then they're gonna win the best of seven. Absolutely. Just a crazy side note. I looked up. What do we got going on the left of us? And the side angles is that is that capped? Yeah, that's the that's the uh, cap north versus south. One pin match, by the way. Just throw that out there. Just happened to see that. Not that pins matter, but I just saw that. So I'm I'm not sure if you're you're we're 1585 two, two, to 1584. Again, doesn't okay. matter in the grand scheme, okay. but yeah, yeah. So there's there's a different story to that part. But the game that's game one is 228. Oh, no, never mind. Take take away yeah, everything I just yeah. said. Ignore it. Cut it. Cut yeah. it. Yeah. Someone edit. Well, <laughs> Another one. All right. Ah. So, so that was, you saw one, you know. Yeah. It, 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 so those watching actual bowling that yeah. we haven't talked about a whole lot. Mm -hmm. So this lane pattern here at Mechanicsville is a little bit cliffed. Yes. You know, you see that with house shots. Mm -hmm. You get a little big puddle in the middle. You get friction to the right. In typical AMF fashion, there's not a whole lot of oil in the front two feet of lane. Yep. So it kind of makes it weird, you know, but you, you saw that you, he got shoved it right. Yep. Never hooked. And but, he, but he did the right thing there. He went ahead and got right. one. Got he the one. Try to, try to Pin spare. Absolutely yep. matter in these in these game formats. Yep. Like you like you mentioned, it's not about total pins. Right. Making this means nothing. But you get that one and it might make a big difference on a double later. Yeah, so now we see they're over there discussing because now Elliot can tag out now if he wants to. Right. Um, and, you know, so it might be like Elliot did good on the right lane. So maybe Elliot will go ahead and, and bowl on the right lane. Hit bowl on the right lane and then go ahead and swap out, you know. So we'll, we'll see what right. their strategy is because it'll be different for everybody. Right. And, you know, and not, not only that, you know, you can tag out based on your ball reaction, but it has a lot to do with what the other team's doing. Yeah. So, you know, Elliot comes off 8 1. You know, not a great shot. He split. But if his opponent comes up here and gives him, you know, well, you watch this bear, 7-2, and, and oh. if he doesn't strike in the next shot, then maybe you don't tag. Right. You got a 10, 20 pin lead on the yeah. bench. So maybe this is an opportunity to get lined up. Yeah. So again, we talked about the strategy. Yeah. The, the, such a fun format. Yeah, it really is. is. It is so unique. You don't see this anywhere with the UBA. Yeah. Like, it, you know, you've got Baker, you got Scotch, tag team. So different. It's There's so different. layers on layers. It's like an onion, right? It's yeah. like an onion. Yeah, it like it reminds me of like some Shrek quotes there going with the <laughs> onion. You gotta peel back you gotta peel back the layers. Correct. All right, good strike, big big shot there for Trade Because so like you, I said, that makes it think. Yeah. Hitman just split and got a 10 pin lead on the bench. Yeah. But do you do you make a change off that? Do you tag? Or do you let Elliot figure out? Maybe it's a lane to lane issue. Maybe the left lane's not as easy as the right. Yo, know, maybe he's throwing X here and then and then maybe he's hanging left lane. Who knows? Let's see what they do. Yeah, I would I think it's a good good call to let Elliot go and throw this one. Yeah, um, and I then agree. see and then see how it is. Same. And then um you know the D depending on his individual feelings towards his open he had on the left lane, he'll decide if he's going to go to the fifth frame or not. Right. But I'm sure him and Jeffrey have already talked about it. Jeffrey. Who's Jeffrey? No, I never heard of him. I know. I, that I, man is I think that might be the first time I've ever called him that. His first name's Fish. His last name's Fish. Yeah. You cannot tell me otherwise. No. We need Speaking to get a, a fish agent fish jersey. Yeah, his name's Agent Pescado. Do you know Pescado is in, in Spanish? Ray? No, I do not. It's fish. Oh, <laughs> so his, fair his jersey is fish. Thank fair you enough. very much. You guys have always been uh, top of the line when it comes to nicknames oh, on jerseys. Nicknames and jerseys. I yes. think we have yes. 38 options. Oh, he loved it. He loved it. There you go. Yeah. So he's he's still not missed. 
no. if, I, if I remember correctly from uh, the first if, game. If I remember correctly, I think he missed in like the ninth. I think it was over. So but he was over. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And where it matters. The like shots that matter, he struck he's a lot. He's there. Yep. I will. I will slide a free bird in there. Don't mind yeah. me. <laughs> yeah. So you see, we got the. They're still talking amongst themselves, trying to figure out what they need to do. All right. And so now we got we got Stiffy up on the lane. I don't know if I'd ever put Stiffy on the back of my jersey. Well, it depends on how you feel. But yeah, it just yeah, it depends <laughs> on how you feel. You know. Great shot. And, and he's strong. Good. Okay. Big Maybe it takes a Stiffy to get a strike. Right. right. And, you know, again, play back the strategy. Yeah. Did Stiffy start this match? No. Stiffy no. started the last match. Yeah. They tagged in. And you know, now they got a double. So they got some momentum. They got something to work for. Yeah, because they're, they're in the spot now. They're trailing by 10. They got to make sure that they keep it going and just hope that either Elliot or Fish drop the ball. Absolutely. And, you know, it, again, in this format, yeah. that's at, you, you do your best, right? You throw your good shots. You hope they strike. But more than anything, you take advantage of the opportunities you get. Yes. And, you know, we talked about this whole strategy. And here we go. The North, you know, their leadoff puller didn't strike three times. They mm -hmm. come out with two seven counts and an open. Don't have a great look. But now all of a sudden they got a three bagger. And Hitman got to think about it. They're yeah. up 10. But, you know, you miss once and you're behind. Yes. It's it, it changes in an instant. Very quick. Very quick. But I feel I feel good about the way Fish has been throwing it right now. So let's see if he. Oh, he's feeling it. He's, Agent Pescado is feeling it. Oh, he, he hates it. Uh, yeah. Firm, firm and right, a little forward, but. But, you know, it's a situation where you get nine spare here, puts your ear even, basically. You have count. It's, it's certainly in the other team's favor, but it's close. Doesn't hurt you. Keep you move on. So we talked about the, how the, the house shot plays here and how can Cliff and all that stuff. Right. The fact that this, this pair has now been oiled four times today. Whew, that's a lot. That's some friction happening. Yeah. So it, it's going to change even more. We got the world title going to be on this pair later, too. Right. Uh, how much did you think about that kind of stuff going into it? Like how many times the machines have been done? I, you know, it's not, you're absolutely right. It factors into things. My personal experience is I, I'm not counting, right? Like I'm not counting who's ball before me or, or, or how many times the lane's been oiled, but it's what I see right here, right now. It's when I start practice, oh, this pair hooks more than it did earlier. Oh, it doesn't or whatever the case may be. You're absolutely right, it factors in. But different bowlers look at that different ways, right? Yes. So you got you get information, and it's how do you use that information? And Elliot did not use the information in that shot. You no. can see that was in hooked. Yeah. Yeah. You know, obviously not what you want to see. Right. If you're a Hitman fan, clearly like not like myself, totally unbiased. Yeah. I, I'm, I'll be interested if you can spare this one because it's it's not the hardest split out there. It's just all about being how accurate you are. You know, and not, you, not that I'm trying to wager on a you know stream, right. but I think this is about even money. Uh, and that's about as close as you can get to making yeah. it without making it. That's that was a good attempt. Yeah, because the good part about that split though is all you're really doing is shooting at the baby split. Right. You just you're pretend shooting, the pin the pin left is not even there. Don't you're, overthink you're, it. Don't worry about that four pin. It'll fall if it falls, and, and you shoot your three ten. You're absolutely yeah. right there. You, you got to treat it. You know, in these matches, you always got to treat it where pins. Every pin matters. Right. The, the, get, the get pin two there could yeah. be huge. We'll the see. Pin, the pinfall doesn't matter for the series, but it matters each game. Absolutely. Because you got you to gotta get the pins to win the game. Right. And so as you see, count wise, we're down about five now, but that could change in a heartbeat with a, a house pattern like this. You can get you can get seven real quick. So the North's up. Yep. Four. Stiffy's on a three back. They got a chance to take a really big lead here. Great shot. Yeah, Absolutely. That, that, that might be one of the best shots he's done today. Yeah. He, he really take that a, one. a commanding lead in this game with yeah. a chance to make this 1 1. Yep. See what I would have done now. If, if I was them, I would have went ahead and got tags out the way, because now you you got you're on four in a row. Oof. The 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 best hitman can do is 221. You're clearly on pace to do a lot more than that. I would have gone ahead and got some tags out the way. Yep. Just because no, that's that's absolutely fair. And that's yep. correct me if I'm wrong. One tag so far, we think. The the leadoff started. Stiffy came in on the fourth or fifth. That's yep. got to be the only tag. So they've got to figure out three more tags. Yeah. In the next three frames. And, and I would have took one there, because it, there's nothing worse than winning a game, but losing a game. Right. And kind of as you alluded to, 
yeah. without really saying it, yeah. you can get yourself in trouble by saving these tags. Because yeah. all of a sudden, you know, someone can lose a lane and, and be forced to bolt, and you don't yeah. have any tags left. So, you know, if they would have taken a tag earlier, you know, maybe a dollar sign, dollar sign hole here, yeah. finds, a, finds an X, and you don't worry about this five count, but now all of a sudden, you got a five, you kind of put yourself on eight ball, and you know you have to tag three more times, and you're in a tough spot. Yep. And the sad part, you could tell by his body language, he was hoping to pick that up. Right. Um, Thought why? I would hook it up yeah, to across it, there, but that just, puddle, we'll talk yeah. about that clip. That puddle is there. Yeah. So now, everything changes in an instant, you know? Yes. We had that 7-2, but all of a sudden, you got 220 left, 221 for your hitmen, yep. and even if, if the North train wreck goes sheep, it's only 217. So we talk about the count, get two on those pairs. Mm -hmm. Now you're kind of in the driver's seat. Yep. Now, gotta get up there and make shots, but all these things we've talked about, the tags, the count, they really come to really come to an importance here in the last few, three frames of, of game two. Yeah, absolutely, because you're maxing out now for 221. Um, best they can do is 217. <laughs> Unbiased, great shot. No, there. Yeah. The night out late. Well, well I, I can say it for you. Like when 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 pins fall forward, Reverse. when pins on the back row fall forward, absolutely, that, that's not absolutely. That makes you, you feel know, good. This, this building's kind of crazy. I've seen five pins go the wrong way. You yes. know, righties hitting the five right. Just some weird hits here. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Ooh, they love that. Yeah. So you saw fish. Kind of fall off that one. Yeah, they make their tag. He throws an okay shot, but you know, I think he'd tell you what the best strike he's ever thrown. Right. And they get a break. It yeah. strikes. And now they're in that situation where they got 221 left. Mm -hmm. The opposite team can only shoot 217. They're in the driver's seat. That's what they like. Yep. You know, give us some momentum. Us being hit, man. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> but now the North's got to respond. They got to make their other tag here and see if they can put up a couple X's. They got to finish first to put the pressure on Hitman. Yep. And, and the good part about it is, you know, if we get to a situation where Hitman's got to double and get count, their count won't have to be as severe Correct. because of the decisions that, that Elliot made earlier, where you know he made, he made sure he got the count, you know, because that the single pin he got in the third that's counted as two basically, you know, him him making sure that he got the three and the ten out of the three four ten. You know, that's four pins right there. Right, that, absolutely. Right there. And that's, that's and you really look at the it, difference. It makes an absolute difference. Sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it does. Same thing, you know. If we, we, it, when we look at, you know, the the train wreck team that, you know, five, three, right? Yeah. Obviously, no one's happy with the five count. But yeah. if he happened to get four there, that two pins account could have made a huge difference. But as you see, you know, we'll yeah. nine spare here. Puts it at 190, and all of a sudden this game might be put away. Yeah. <laughs> colorful, colorful names today. Phil, Phil Ball strike there for 197. Yep. Really makes it men show up here. You know, missed opportunity for the North team, but certainly not done. That's the crazy thing about these best of seven matches is you really have a lot of time. There you go, very nice. So all we gotta do here is um, Ellie's just got to finish, so um, he's had the rougher time on the pair um, compared to um, what Fish has had. So he's going to go ahead and take both of these balls in the tent and just, uh, you know, get ready for game three. That's the important thing for, uh, for Elliot here. All right, big, big 10 Very frame. Nice. 
Very yeah, nice. Man, throw double, 220. Yep. And, and, well, 220 with some yep. fill here, but clearly enough to win, go up 2-0. Yep. And, 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 it was, and it was good there to, because all, all Ellie had to do was throw the last ball. Right. So he basically got two balls of practice here. He threw the same ball he threw. He just came back to the bag, grabbed another ball. So now he's going to make sure that, you know, what he's seeing, the, how he's seeing the transition, he gets to use this free frame. Right. That, it, you get to do whatever you want. Yep. Is it a ball change and a zone change? Firmer, softer, doesn't matter. You get a freebie here. And you kind of really don't, you know, they're kind of an under-realized value of those free shots. Yeah. Yeah, four, six, maybe it's not the right ball, but you learn that now rather than the middle Versus of game when three. You need it. Right, yeah. exactly. When you can when you can play with ball changes when you want to, oh absolutely. It's so much better than when absolutely. you have to have it. And so, you know, they go up 2 0, which is yeah. huge, especially yes. in this format, because now you got your opponent pressing. Yes. You know you gotta have it. You squeeze a little harder. You know, you need those shots a little more, and that makes them harder to throw. And I, you know, I put myself in the same situation. So I go back to my heavyweight run. I don't think I ever won a game one, ever. Yeah. <laughs> because I played a little bit of defense. But right. what it does is it makes you care about those shots a little more down the stretch. Yep. Doesn't make it easy. You know, you know you're down 2-0. You, you gotta, you gotta strike. Yeah. What's up, man? There, there was. There's been plenty of times where you know I saw you in your run where you didn't even shoot 2 0 the first game. Absolutely. You know? And it's all about setting it up. And it's a lot easier in singles to set up and play, that, and yeah. play that defense. Yeah, it's, it's way harder to manipulate a lane pattern yep. with four guys in the pair than it is just yep. you versus the guy, right? And you saw that in this building. We went yeah. to seven, and I don't know that either of us shot 200 in the last three games. It was crazy how me, how hard, yeah. how hard we made it. Yeah. Between my opponent throwing some surface, me throwing some urethane, but and if, and you don't not, see that here. Yeah, and if you're not, if you're not good in what you're doing, you can't get caught up in playing defense. <laughs> right. You have to be good at it. Right. And it was clear early on in your run that from from frame one, game one, you weren't thinking about I'm gonna get this done in four. Right. You wanted to make sure you won. You right. didn't. You didn't care if you, if they had to pay four games of lineage or yeah. seven games of lineage. Yeah. Hop on those bold TV archives and you can see the interviews. Right. Hey Bob, how many games are gonna take you to win? Well, at least six. <laughs> and it could be less because that's that was the plan, right? Yeah. And it's, it's different in singles. Yes. And these guys have a different challenge in yeah. front of them. Yeah, because all four of them are righties. You right. Know? Yeah. So yeah, no, no lefties. Nobody yeah. gets fresh. No lefties. You know. No, no real slow rollers or anything like that going on, yeah. you know. Fish obviously got more revs than everybody else. Yeah, he, he, he does have more revs, but he also throws it harder than everybody else. Yes. So while you talk about the rev rate, it doesn't mean he's just hooking it more than everybody, because yeah. he's not necessarily. Right. Elliot throws it very similar to me, where we, you know, we're both kind of, uh, call it, call it rev dominant. Yeah, yeah, we both have a rev rate, but our speed may not yes. match it. So he gets left probably pretty quick, where Fish, high rev rate, but he throws it really hard, so the yeah. so transition's different for him. You know, a lot of people look at, like, they feel like they can speed up the revs, slow down the revs as, as how some of their moves, so to right. speak. But the way Fish balls is his speed right. is what he does. He's going right. to throw the same revs. Right, you want to hit the hook less? Yeah. Throw it harder. Throw it harder, <laughs> absolutely. Throw it throw it past the break point. Yep. Get less reaction out of it. That's how he does it. That's how he controls it. Right. All right, we're going to tag in uh, another commentator here with Ray. Yep. Uh, my old former commentating buddy, Kyle. Yep. He's going to come in and, and have some totally unbiased work about this match. Yeah. Uh, I'm up. I got, I'm doing, I'm doing 12 other things. Give me that. Don't give me my phone back. <laughs> All right, so uh, a friend of the, the program, so to speak. We have, I got the mic fish. We have uh, Kyle with us. Hi, Kyle. How are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? Good. Um, you're, you're not a tag team partner, but but your partner needed uh, uh, to tag you in for a moment. Yeah. Um, while you're trying to, to enjoy some stuff on your phone at the same time. <laughs> what? Like, he does that. He's not. Uh, he's definitely the weaker link of the two. So. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, I can agree with that. It's <laughs> because he's short. He's got to make sure that... I think he's always jealous that his man bun and stuff doesn't look as good as yours. Yeah, it's, you it's, know, I think it's that's never going to look this good, but no. he could try. So fill me in here. I'm a little bit late. I just got here. We're yep. up 2-0 in the south. Yep, so, so we're up 2-0. Um, Fish has looked phenomenal um, the whole way. Elliot, uh, the, a little miss. Okay. You know, in there. Um, 
but but Fish is just he's crushing it right now. Um, they they probably should have lost game two, okay. but the strategy of when to tag and all that kind of stuff helped Pittman out. Versus it, it wasn't ideal for the other side. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. all right. Yep. And it looks like they got an early lead here too. Yep. Fish is still striking. Yeah, he's still striking. And the, and the good part that we talked about them is like they always come back and they always talk to each other. Right. You know, yeah, it's yeah. not no, a, just a. You I've know, pulled with Fish quite a bit, so yeah. I I know how it goes. You know, he sees them well. Elliot does too. Yeah. So that's one thing that makes them pretty deadly is the fact that they just both know what's going on at all times. Very good advantage. Yeah, when, when they're bowling, they're talking about bowling. They're not talking about what they're doing tonight and all that kind of stuff. Is they're making sure they're ready to go. Right. You know, um, they, they said they were going to win at five. Okay. They said five. They're up 2-0. Um, you right. know, train Nick said they're six or seven. That's what they said they would do. So. Okay, I got you. Well, we'll see how it goes here. And then the other match were up or down. Um... That is going to be South is going to be up 2-0 on okay. the in the cap. So it, it's been a rough day for the South. The South lost the uh, heavyweight match last night. So then, at, then at two o'clock we got swept. Uh, Leonard got swept. Uh, I heard he it, bowled well too and got swept. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. He, he bowled pretty good. So it's it, you know tough loss for him, but he lost 4-0. And then the welterweight and Vixen both went seven, but we were on the losing end of both of those. So, okay, I got um, you. We're kind of putting a lot on the, the the tag teams to step up and do their thing. Right. And right now they they got the first four, so they're, they're 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 putting the pressure on these guys. Yeah, based on Fish's look right now, I don't see his look going away soon. No. So, and he's I mean he's all over the place. Yeah. It's uh yeah. looks like they're hooking too much for him. He's just not he hasn't gotten in front of the move quick enough yet. Yep. And these guys drove down here. They got here right before the match. So, you know, there was no, like, get to town, kind of get relaxed. And, and I think that's kind of, you know, kind of going so where they're, 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 they're bowling tight. Right. Um, they're not loose. They're not, you no, know. But that's definitely an advantage when you just stay loose the whole week. Like, you know, I was bowling next to Juice over there at the other center just a little bit ago. We just staying loose already for his match later. So. That's a big thing. I mean, you want to continue to just keep getting reps in, especially in these centers where if you don't bowl here a lot, right? High friction. That's not even close. Ooh, yeah, that was, that was that's rough there. Yeah, yeah the six ten was fair up. They missed. They opened one of those uh, right. last game. But one thing with like the, the guys at the heavyweight level like that, whether it was Juice, whether it was Kilo, um, uh, whether it was Josh. Uh, all those guys, like, the first question they would always ask me is, hey, where's my title match going to be? Right. And I would say, hey, it's going to be at this house. And they made sure they got games in at that house. Exactly. Because they know that it can play different from day to day, but knowing your your footing. Right. Knowing characteristics, yeah. comfort, all that no, kind of stuff. Sure. And, uh, and you can't always do that. You know, the, the Elliot and Fish, they ain't got the bowl nothing yet. Right. You know, these guys just got here, too. Oh, like, even, for example, if it was me, I had... If I had to bowl anything of importance, if I had to bowl anything of importance on Friday morning at the other center, I'd have been fucked. And then now at this center, or over there, if I after getting three sets under my belt, I finally figured them out. Yeah. Which is crazy, but take that took that long. But sometimes that's what it takes, especially when it's something you don't typically see. These AMF houses, you don't really know what you're going to get all the time. And then when you come to a WCS match, you can't wait three games to figure it out. Right. You know, yeah. you, three, if, if the other person's got it from the start, you, you're, you're behind eight ball. Right. Uh oh, oh so damn. That, that would have took the seven out. Yeah, it would have made the seven ten. Very nice uh, <laughs> ten pin spare uh, by Fish. Now Elliot's in. But I hope Juice keeps the belt because then I'm going to go get it from him. I'm going to go get that heavyweight belt. That's mine next. So. <laughs> Just needed the word that Senzo dropped from the series. That was the only one that I was uh, worried about. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, when, when it comes to power lefties, Senzo is one of them. Yeah, that's you for know, sure. He's in, a, he's in a, uh, a league of his own, so yeah. to speak. And, and Ju Juice, you know, a little, another plug for Juice is he's good everywhere. Right. His game, you know, it travels. You got guys that, like, out of a conference, you know, like, there's a lot in the South about, you know, scoring in Greensboro is easier than everywhere else. Well, you know, um, Juice will go to Greensboro, Bowell, 
Right. He'll go to Charlotte, Moel. Go to back home he'll, to Augusta. Yeah, he'll yeah. go to Augusta. He'll, he'll make yeah. a trip down to Atlanta. Yeah. And the games travel. And when you got a game to travel, you're very hard to beat. Well, that's the difference maker with when it comes to those world champs. I mean, if you look at any of the last few ones that we've had, they've all held it for a decent little bit because of that. Yeah. I mean, you look at Pittman. He's held it for, he held it for a while because he's good in a lot of places. Yep. Kilo's good everywhere also. Yep. Uh, yep. Withers also, like you said, good everywhere. That's the difference maker in keeping that belt for a while is not just one center and you got to keep defending it there. If you can bowl anywhere, big difference. Yeah, because, I mean, they're at, it, we're like six years now where the world title's been in the South. Right. You know, we've had had everybody. Uh, we didn't mention Nick Christie. Right, and Nick that, Christie. Um, you know, so we... It's, it's been a great run for the South, and right. ho hopefully Juice continues that tonight. Yep. I think he will. I don't know the North guy, but I mean, of course, he's probably very good, but... Yeah. Well, the, the, North, the North guy's really good. Got to see him in the North-South match last night for the first time. Yeah. Um, very consistent. He, do he doesn't miss a lot, but when he does, you got to jump on it. Right. And if anybody's going to jump on it, Juice doesn't have to play defense. But he's going to capitalize on the, every window you give him. Is you the North guy right-handed also? Yes. Okay. Yeah. And Juice is good enough where he can play defense and offense at the same time. Same right. shot. Oh. Oh, there we that's go. That's a big hit. He's a little left. He yeah. didn't like that. No. Yeah, he, he just hasn't had the same the same consistency that Fish has. Right. Yeah. No, his look doesn't look bad, but he's definitely got a little more over under. Fish yeah. definitely, his ball reaction right now is about as good as it can get. Yeah, his his speed and rev dominance is uh, really helping him through all this. Right. See, that was a good shot right there. I mean, they need a they need a miracle to win this game. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if, if I was them, I'd go ahead and start playing it on game four right. and just figuring out that what you need to do different. Yeah. Because when you're in a match with with Hitman or any of the uncapped teams, like you spare three times in a row, you might as well open. Right. You and know? then you follow it, it up with an open as well. Right. So it's like <laughs> it, you look at that, it's almost like they open four times. Right. You know, is is kind of what it is. Cause Where are they from? Somewhere up north. Up north somewhere. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All yeah. right, well, they're putting, that's a four-bagger. That's not bad. I think they're, I think they're in the cent, maybe a central. I okay. think that's what he told me. This shot, this is a big shot right here. Yeah. Because I haven't seen Elliot on that lane yet, so. I believe he's throwing two different balls, if I'm not wrong. Yeah. He, I don't he, think he was throwing that on the left lane. No, he ball changed in the tenth on this lane. Um, and, uh. Fish locked it out in the first ball. All right. That and one's right. He, yeah, there you go. High flush. So that, that's not the same ball he changed to in the 10th last time because he four six with it. Yeah. So he, I think he went in and put that back in the bag. So. But that's the thing a lot of people don't like to do. They don't feel comfortable using one ball on each lane. Right. You know, I use it. I mean, hell, I use two balls on each lane sometimes. You know, but these guys, you know, they're a different level than most of, yeah. most of that's us. That's in. Oh, uh, I left the four pin. <laughs> so, that's that's love right there. When you get when you get booed for uh, leaving the four pin when you're when you're gonna win the game. Right. You know. So three zero south. This is looking. It's getting ugly quick. <laughs> Fifty-eight, they can go for thirty-five. Yeah, it's over. Which one thing is, you know, yes, fish is a two-hander, but one of the good things about WCS rules is you can change your surface at any time. You, you can, can throw it a left-handed if you wanted to. I didn't know you can change your surface yeah, at any time. Okay. Yeah. If you can figure out a way to change it mid-shot, you're more than welcome to. Oh, okay. But All right. You can do that. You can change hands. You know? Yeah, I remember the whole thing because um, Bo was yep. able to Bo throw sales, spares. Yep. He was in the number one contender spares. match. Uh, right. No, he's he bowling for the title in April. Is he? Yes. Okay. Yep. 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 
So 3-0, it's looking pretty yeah. good. I mean, that, how many tags have to happen? Yeah, we gotta have four. Four gotta tags. Four tags, yep. Okay. Um, they, you know, uh, train wrecks are irrelevant th at this point because, you know, this game is obviously done for them. They need to make sure they keep having these spots where they're going like two through five there where they went spare, 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 open. But then it's like they finally get it together here. Right. Well, that's too late because they were just, Hitman was just solid for all 10. Right. So you can't spot, you can't spot a team like Hitman five frames right. and think you're going to run them down. Well, and that's also part of that whole thing we were talking about with the, with the being able to talk to each other and get your partner to also be striking. So when you have that couple frames where it's time for your tag and you got one guy that doesn't have it, it that's when you get that. So yeah, like I, like I said earlier too, like you know, pinfall for the series doesn't matter. It's all you can win all four games by one pin. You know, you can lose the other three by a hundred. Right. And so it's all about game count. And right now, Hitman's on 3-0. Yeah. So it doesn't look like they're slowing down. No. Mm -hmm. It looks like looking at a looking at a ball change, and yeah, in my opinion that looks pretty terrible. No, a little too big, too slow. Yep. It's a big day over here for Hitmen right now. Winning uncapped, and now they got up 3-0. Yep. Win it. Yeah, they won uncapped. How did it go doing that, you know? I'm not sure. Okay. Yeah, I, was, I, I, I saw they were bowling. at the other center. I'm not sure how they did. Okay. Yeah. I know I, they didn't win. I saw them bowling earlier, and, you know, the place was kind of loud. Beautiful guy right won here. That too, bowling so. well, throwing strikes. Stand left, throw right. So what? I figured. I mean, the way I've seen it, you, you get it going a little right, it's, yeah. Yeah. Are they are they close? Fish. Are they close? Completely different. Yeah. 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 So yeah, he's Kyle's got a asking over fish a little bit of you, uh, you know room. the lane difference, yeah. and fish said it's like three four boards difference on oh, one lane versus the other. Five, so four seven nine. Mm. Yeah. So. so. Yeah, so yeah. after talking to Fish, like you said there, he said uh, he's got one of them a little bit uh, hooking a little bit more. Yeah. He said there's a lot of chum in the middle, which it's being yeah. also a two-hander, I understand that's what you're kind of looking for. You want hold, then your miss is in. You yeah. want friction to the right when you miss right. So yeah. that's why he's striking so much. Yep, and that's why Elliot's not, you right. know. So he's a higher rev rate, plays him a little straighter. Right. And that's the good part is when you got, you, you know, you got the great teams. Um, we talked about with Bob earlier where you got, like, G-Town had, you know, uh, Matt and Jack. Right. Power righty, power lefty. Yeah, that, like, that duo is crazy, too. And, and so right now you've got two great righties on Hitman, that, but they both play it different. Right. You know? Exactly. So the tag strategy is helping Hitman. Uh, For sure. And that's, and that's very important. And, um, the train wreck guys, they're, they're not out of it. I've seen, I've seen plenty of people. Go down 3-0, right. run it. And um, oh, but from bowling with some of these guys that put, took me to the next level. This this past year, my games made a huge increase, and it's mainly from just when you get to the point where you're with other good bowlers and you're able to talk through the moves and stuff. And yeah, that is a completely different game. Yeah. Yeah. You wish. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's Mr. Hole here. Can you give me a bet? Oh, <laughs> he needs a mark here. They huh? gotta, they gotta get something going. Yeah, that little ball yes. pretty good. Don't know. Good shot by Mr. Hole. See, so, yeah, I mean, like we were saying, they're sitting here. They're up 3-0. They're still talking through it a minute yeah. ago. So, yep. and it's been. And as Mr. Hold just said, this is their first lead of the match. It, so, it is their that, first lead of the match. That's not good for it to be the fourth game. It's not a huge lead. <laughs> no. 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 And, and, and at least he wasn't bragging about it. Right. Like he was being realistic, like, wow, <laughs> this is our first lead of the match. Yeah. No, we're represented well right now in our on, from the south with our title holders. Juice, of course, is such a big one having him. He, he, that dude, man, I just don't know. I don't know who's yeah. going to beat him. Other than me, I, I think I'm going to beat him when I get there. Yeah, hey, because <laughs> I have to. Th I have to say that, but he's a uh, he's a good one. Yeah, he's one. What the? It's pretty good. Oh, oh very nice. 
Nice little pin action there. Yeah. He's yeah, the so. he's the the face of Dirty South Legends. Yeah. Is is what he is. For sure. Um, we don't get to see uh, Mr. 900 AJ Rice enough in the UBA that stuff. Got, that guy's got 600 for two every time he bowls now at this yeah, point. I he, literally sent in our group chat the other day. I seen him post. Or no, today I seen him post on Facebook yesterday. I was like, does this guy just have 600 after two every time he bowls yeah. at this point? Because it feels like it. Yeah. And it's funny when he bowls stuff where, like, they let handicap get in those. And, right. he, and he gets knocked out of brackets and high game pots because somebody shoots 321. Right. And he just went perfect. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it's pretty funny. You know, definitely shout out AJ Rice. He's, he's yeah. a phenomenal bowler. Yeah, so I mean, based on the last shot I just saw Elliot throw on the right lane, the, the play is for him is if he gets it going right, it's what he wants to see. Mm, yeah. See, that one just pushed it. The left lane just looks like it pushes a little bit. Yeah. It's probably the tight lane. Just doesn't, didn't just see it enough, is all it was. So he needs to go ahead and get this spare because you don't want to leave the you don't want to leave good train wreck hope. Right. You know. Yeah. Because I know that I know him in pick five, but you would prefer four. Yeah. You want to get get in, get out. Get, get in, game. get out. Yeah. You know, go get you something to eat, come back. That walk down happened yeah. more times than, you'd, than we'd like to see sometimes. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> if, if we were in the number one contender match in uh, cap tag and uh, we got walked down up 3-0 at Myrtle Beach uh, by Heather Ness and Tracy Bowling. Ah, uh, and that was, we, one of us flagged the 10 pin in the 10th. All we had to do was spare. And then from there, it, was, it just, we were, we were defeated. Then you had, you know, their teammates there. You know, then that's when they showed up and got loud because they, we, we left the door open. Right, exactly. And, and we, and, and Elliot and Fish do not need to leave the door open. Right. Well, I mean, they're not pulling away. No. I mean, they went flat 10 on the right lane, and then they go two pins. So they're between it. Yep. They're not seeing them correctly on the right lane yet, yep. and, from and what good, I've seen. Yeah, and the good part now is, like, fish can come in, right. run four or five frames if they need to. Yep. You know? But that's the kind of stuff that they're talking about. You know, it's like, hey, how you feeling? What you want to do? This is what I see. What do you see? Yeah. You know, and and Elliot's doing good on the right lane. You know, right. Left lane's giving him trouble. So I go ahead and let Elliot throw the right lane, and then tag. Yeah. But it looks like Fish is gonna get up. And I mean, now it's now it's back to an even match, even with that open. Yeah. Assuming he makes this too. So even yeah. if, he, if he misses it, it's now him and takes the lead from not doing much, which right. is. That happened in game two, where they they took the lead on the bench. Yeah. And that's a good feeling. Anytime you take the lead sitting down. Right. You know. Exactly. In a sport where you're supposed to be moving one direction. Yeah. But there is something to be said. Nothing like uh, <clears throat> getting it when you need it. Yeah. Getting when you need it for the win is such a feeling. What's up, buddy? You like that? Late. It'll be like 1 a.m. probably. Oh, yeah, that's 10 back. Bold prediction, Fish doesn't miss again if he throws it on the right lane. It just the way his ball reaction is on the right lane, I don't see him missing again on that lane. Just too much friction right, too much chum in the middle. Yeah. No, Fish is good. Fish is solid for sure. I'm watching UFC. Guess what? Yeah, yeah, for sure. All right, so fish. Yeah, of course, but the other the dude's still more so than you. He can get, he can get <laughs> By this one. All the pressure on train, uh, train wreck. That's oh, because they're Bro? going to be losing. Oh, okay. <laughs> they're going to be behind here in game four. All right. He, he, he netted that. Beautiful. <laughs> Free bird. It's an inside joke between yeah. our group of friends. Oh yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> It's a good one, actually. It's pretty funny. Yeah, I mean, now, I mean, they're back to a lead change yep. right there. So. Yeah. All the pressure, all, it's, you know, they left the, 
train, le train wreck left the door open for him in that time. They turned and into a they, train wreck, made a train wreck move. Yeah. <laughs> now it's and big advantage south. Yeah, and, and it's, I mean, the right lane's just been the killer for them, no matter yeah. who's throwing on the right lane. Like I said, flat 10, which is not good. Yeah. And then no. you go from that to two pin on that lane to a big four, you're yeah. going the wrong way. All right, see if they can bounce back from that big four. How long have, do you know how long they've had their belt up there or no? Three. They've had it for three months now. Three about, months, about okay. The same, about the same amount of time as they've been now. Okay. So, um, this is their second time as champs. They gotcha. uh, had it last year, uh, but they only held it for a month. And then so they had to get back up, and now they're back, and they've had it for three months up there now. So. Okay. But the North has not had good luck against us in uncapped. You know, no. this this looks like um, something that's going to stay in the South for a while. Um, in fact, it looks like, kind of glancing over to our left with the cap match, that this is actually be the first time the South has won in a while. The last couple of times our reps uh, did not do very well. Okay. You know, so. Um, so are we going to start? Are we going to see a different belt for this type of event soon, or no? No, no. It's just it's all about the money. They're okay. bowling for they, they're bowling for a thousand dollars. Okay. Right yeah. Now. So I'd rather have that um, than a belt. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Juice is bowling tonight for a thousand dollars and to keep the belt. So, okay. Um, but his belt's pretty cool. It's got the yeah, leather, the, the leather and all that right, stuff on there. The, the snake skin, skin stuff, and the gold. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I love. That's, that's why I want that one. Yeah. yeah I mean he. Yeah, Fish won't miss on the right lane because hey, that was a terrible shot off of his hand. He hated yeah. it, fast, jumped out of it, and it was still 10 back. Yeah. Like, it was it was only 19 miles an hour and a 600 rev rate. I mean, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's got a hook. Ooh, 2-8. Yeah. A little too much. Like I mentioned, a little bit of chum on that left lane. So yeah. when it got, when you don't get it all the way to the friction, that's the type of leaves you'll see, two-pin type leaves. Yeah. But they're still in the, they're, they're still in the driver's seat because yes. of that big four. They haven't, this is the worst game they've bowled, right? Yeah. And they're still already in the driver's seat? Yep. Well, it's like they, 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 they beat Trainwreck by enough the first three where it was disheartening. Right. You know, and it's it's hard to, when you feel like, damn, I'm doing my best and I'm getting my butt whooped. Yeah. It's hard to recover. It's, it's a long so, ride home after getting swept. Yeah. <laughs> no matter yeah. how far you're going. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a relief that they're not having to pay max lineage and have that car ride. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, you know, I'd hate to drive all that way and right. and and have this as the effort. But you know, sometimes that you bowl in a sun and you just don't have it. You know. Well, um, sometimes you're living in your. Yeah. Is sometimes it's your dream. Sometimes it's somebody else's. Looks yeah. like it's Hitman's dream right yeah. now. So, huh? Am I living in New York? Huh? You want to throw us a Brooklyn strike? Yeah, throw us a Brooklyn. All right, cool. For the win. Yeah. Yeah. So. And then so, yell north right after you do it. <laughs> yeah. So hopefully we'll see if he does it. You think he'll do it? <laughs> he won't do it. No, he won't do it. No. If he gets Unless a lot, it's already over. over. If, if it's, it's over, over, over. Yeah. Yeah. Because the good part about him is like, you know, we're talking good about it like it's over. Right. But like when Fish came by, like he's still focused. Right. He still like knows that. It's a, you know, the, the fat lady hasn't sung yet. Yeah. You know. No, it's yeah. Yeah. But when it so, comes to bowling, it's yeah. It's you got to win all four games because. At that point, when you didn't win all four yet, it's one game at a time. Yeah. So, no matter how much you won the first three by, hell, my, my last um, match for the heavyweight series, I uh, I beat the guy that I was bowling against by 150 total pinfall. It came down to game seven, me needing the first one in the tenth to win that match. Wow. Which is crazy. 
that it yeah. came to that. My just my big games were bigger than his big games, but he still won when he needed to to, yeah. to push me there. So that one was pretty big. So right now, 26 pin advantage to the south. Yep. This one right here. If you, I, I want. I still want him to see. I still want a Brooklyn. I want him to throw right. this one Brooklyn. That's, That's not, not Brooklyn. Going Brooklyn. Ten back. That, that, that might have been the best throw, ball yeah. he's thrown the entire time. That one. And he's throwing a lot of great shots. That one was pretty good. He lot of the great shots. Yeah. Yeah, that one was pretty good. He's <laughs> four more. Oh. Oh. Okay. But but, but their max is two eleven. Yeah. Um. They're they're we're on one seventy seven plus in the south here, so um we just got to keep it on the lane. Yeah, it's it's good count. Good yeah. counts to win. Yep. He's threw that one like he didn't care anymore. Now you don't yeah. even need count, really. No. I think I just make sure your tag count was right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a clean sweep. Leonard, Leonard Freeman's broom is still over there in the corner. Yeah, it's still <laughs> over there. Here we go. You'll know when you see it. We're get, we're gonna get our Brooklyn here, are we? Yeah. Okay, good. He's calling his shot. Okay. I'd love to see a Babe Ruth uh, attempt in bowling. <laughs> oh. He lied to me. Uh, boo. He told me he was going to go Brooklyn. Uh, I'm not. Terrible. Ter <laughs> terrible job. But, All right. Well, that was a good win. With a sweep. Yeah. It's yeah. Good a, sweep for the sweep. South. We love to see it. Yes, we do. We much needed win for the South this weekend. Yep. So the congratulatory handshakes and all that good stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and talk to Fish here real quick. And cool. I appreciate, I appreciate it, man. Kyle. Yeah, thank you, Kyle. You were very, you were very, I was gonna say that. Y'all screwed up. Yep. You said five, you, you did it in four. The South appreciates you getting the win. Um, that was that was the one they used on Leonard Freeman earlier. You know. Again. That's right. Give it. Yeah, give it. Give it back to him. Um, so, so you had the better look that entire time. Um, t tell us how how that went for you. Uh, just kept my feet slow and made shots. But as long as I as I executed my shot, I wasn't not striking. Yeah. The good part about it is like you had four righties on the pair, and all of you were throwing it completely different, and your look just was like kind of automatic. You know, which was great in a, in a team where, like, Elliot throws it different. But y'all were able to play off each other. You made great decisions on when you are going to do your tags. Um, so you guys got more action coming in the south. Is there any teams on the horizon that you're worried about or you've seen or anything like that that, that bother you? That we're worried about? Yeah. There isn't a team in the country where I'm worried about. Not oh. a team in the country. I'm worried Will about Will you agree with them on that one? I agree. You agree? Okay. Okay. We're so, not lefty-righty, but we play – very different, so it's almost like well. You play different. Yours is a bit more finesse. Yep. Yours is a little bit more uh, speed rev and power. So, like it's, it's congratulations, guys. It was a great thing to see. You had the crowd here with you. You got y'all were winning games and leaving four pins and getting booed. Well, it's, <laughs> it's fantastic. What's the saying? I'm not sure. So, so the it says hitmen win everything, okay. and I and I uh, approve this message. I approve this message. I approve the South doing their thing, and I'm um, congratulations to the hitmen. I appreciate you guys very much. All right, cool.